Hello guys, this is your tutor Shungwana PE. In this video, we are going to be looking at integration using the formula sheet and uh, completing the square. So this is the formula sheet that we are going to be using when we are do, uh, dealing with these uh, integrals. So, so let's look at example one. Example one. So if for example, we are having now we are also having the the limits of integration. So if we are having dx over seven plus x square, there is this is a simple example. So if you have uh, this type of integral, what you need to do is to go and check which formula can you use, and we can see that. The one that has f prime at the top and it does not have a square root at the denominator it's actually formula number 23 formula number 23 is the one that can help us in this case so the next thing that we need to do is to write that formula so that formula says is f prime dx over f of x all square plus a square let's check if we wrote it correctly it is fine and then we are having 1 over a arctan f of x over a plus c so this is actually inside arctan so we can see that this match our formula so this one if we want to put it in because some people may have difficulty in trying to see that it's the same thing you can also rewrite it like this so in this case we can see that our f of x is actually x and then our f prime when we differentiate x we get one and then our a should be square root of seven so that when we have a square we go back there and also here if we are having f of x square we should get back to x square so what we need to do from here is to go and evaluate so we can simply say that the integral having the limits 2 and 1 dx over x square plus 7 it's simply 1 over our a it's square root 7 then it's up term this is the formula that we are using in this case then our f of x is x and then divide by a which is square root 7 then we won't write plus c remember when we are dealing with definite integral there is no need for us to write that plus c because it will cancel out eventually so what we need to do from here is that we can plug in the values of 2 and 1 we start when we are substituting we start with uh, the upper limit which is 2 arctan where we see x we put 2 is going to be 2 over square root of 7 then minus 1 over square root 7 arc 10 and 1 over square root 7 so we have evaluated we have to note that our calculator should be in radian mode so that we can get the correct answers it should be in radian mode and when we evaluate that using the calculator the answer that will result it will be in this nature which it is rounded to four decimal places so we will look at the second example where it does not require us to use complete square so the second example will be number two we are having dx over square root of 
3x square plus 5. So the first thing that we need to do is to go and check which formula suits this one. And if we go and check, we realize that the formula that corresponds to that question is actually formula number 26. So it is this one here. It's the one because it's the one that has a square root at the denominator and um, f of x squared plus a squared. So that formula is which this becomes our next step. We write the correct formula so that we don't make mistakes. This is the square root. The square root of f of x square plus a square. The formula is arc cinch. Where I come from, we call it arc cinch. And some people, they call it differently. So this formula has a plus c. So let me check, even this side, I did write the plus c. And this time around, we will write that plus c after integrating because we are not doing a definite integrals. So because in this case, in this case, we are not given the limits of integration. So what we do from here is that we can see that our f of x has to be square root of 3x so that when we square this it should go back to where we started <coughs> then f prime when we differentiate here we get square root of 3 and also our a is actually supposed to be square root of 5 so that a square should be 5 so what we need to do from here is to just go and make sure that it matches exactly the formula. So what we do not have in our equation, we do not have the f prime at the top. So we need to put that f prime at the top of dx over We can write that square root of 3. And remember, the square root is only inside the 3. So this is multiplied by square root 3 times x. Square plus square root of, of 5. So because at the top we have introduced the square root of 3, which was not there, we also have to divide by square root of 3 which is the same as multiplying by 1 over square root of 3 so now this matches exactly the formula we are allowed now to take and use our formula which our formula we consider that constant which is outside the integral it's 1 over 3 square root 1 over square root of 3 then arc sinh then our f of x, we just go and take its square root of 3x over over square root of 5 plus c. So we must remember that this is inside the arc cinch. So what about if we cannot use directly? So let's look at an example which will require some manipulation. If we are having dx over square root of x squared plus 24x plus 48 so this one it's it is going to be difficult for us to just factorize so in this case we can complete the square we complete square 
on the denominator. So when we complete the square on the denominator, we can take this one out so that we'll go and place it back after completing the square. So we know that when we complete the square, we divide the middle term by 2 and square it. So we will have x squared plus 24x plus 24 divided by 2 all square. So some people, they actually sometimes take that 48 to the other side. So what you do on the left, you must do on the right side again. So we divide this 24 by 2 and square it. And then from here, we result 24 divided by 24 divided by 2. It's actually 12. 12 square is 1. 44 and then now 144 let's use the calculator negative 48 plus 144 that is 96 so 144 is a bigger number minus 48 we will get a positive that side so this is this time is this is factorizable we will have x plus 12 square. We bring back the 96 to the left hand side. Now, this is actually going to be something like this. So, from here, we can go back and place it in our original problem because we have completed the square so we see that this is actually x plus 12 square minus 96 so the thing that we need to go and check now is which formula can we use the one that have f of x so we can say that f of x is x plus 12 then f prime x is just 1. And then a, we will let it to be square root of 96. So that a square is 96. And then what we need to do from here, we go and check. So this, it seems like it is formula number 27. The one that has f of x minus a square and we said that our a square is 96 so it matches that one perfectly so what we need to do from here now if we just write the correct formula it has a square root f of x square minus a square we must always put the x in these formulas even here i must put the x it is possible to make that uh, slight mistake so but it's the more you do this from uh, these problems you will take note of that so this one it's a cosh let me see how the formula is exactly it does not have any constant in the beginning so it's actually arc cosh it's arc cosh f of x over a plus c so what i need to do i've already said what is my a my a is the square root of 96 what is my f of x what i need to do is just to say dx over square root of x plus 12 square minus square root of 96 it's actually going to be a cosh x plus 12 over my a is square root of 96 plus c 
so that's it for today in this video we will end here please like this video and subscribe so that you can stay tuned for the upcoming content until next time thank you